Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below this video. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for inquiring about this or any Watchbox watch. Reach out to me for pricing questions at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. In 2017, Laurent Ferrier launched the Montre à Col, a school watch, case design inspired by the first watch made by Laurent Ferrier, the namesake of the brand. Well, the next year, the school watch case was combined with the Galet annual calendar platform. So this is a annual calendar in stainless steel in the school watch case. This is the Galet annual calendar school watch. Steel is a highly desirable material for an everyday watch, so this is no shrinking violet, nor is it a dainty thing to be worn only on special occasions. You can see 40 millimeters in diameter. The watch is 13.1 millimeters thick and from lug tip to lug tip, a reasonable 47.3 millimeters with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now the watch on my wrist is easy to accommodate to the point that I would recommend it for wrists as small as 14 centimeters circumference. It isn't the thinnest watch in the world, but the sloped case flank will allow it to fit underneath the cuff. In stainless steel, it has above average durability, and you can see that the lugs are nowhere near the edges of my wrist. Take one last look at the cuff shot, now one look over the top. The strap, high grade, medium rectangular scale alligator leather, same color as the dial, matte blue, and it has a folded edge, a monotone stitch, and a lovely suede material, almost like the shift knob or wheel of a high performance vehicle that's suede. It's got the feeling of something designed to stand the test of time, and also it will feel a treat on your wrist. Now taking a quick look at the buckle, you can see it is perhaps a little bit more in step with the fluid form of a standard Galet case, and you can see it is distinctly more organic in profile than the school watch case, which is designed to look essentially like a pocket watch to which lugs have been welded, and that is very much the look. A school watch, an officer's watch, a field watch, this look through the years has had many different names, but it is universally regarded as the appearance of a pocket pocket watch subsequently converted to make a wristwatch. We have a domed, unsigned crown, another vintage element. It has a nice sharp knurling on its edge. We have a dial with a vertical satin grain, a little bit like stainless steel. From top to bottom it flows. Three colors, white, matte, blue, and red. We have an annual calendar. We have a radial date. We have a day. We have a month. We have a small second. Asagai, or spear-shaped hands, for the hours and minutes. They've been white varnished. Now, the watch is easy to set. So you have a quick set system for the date that also jumps the month. And then we have a little pusher adjuster that allows you to quickly toggle the day and make rapid corrections. It is an annual calendar, so it only needs one correction annually, once a year, during the jump from February to March. On the reverse side, we have the movement. This movement is the Laurent Ferrier uh, L12601, so LF means Laurent Ferrier, though Oftentimes, these movements are designed in conjunction with La Fabrique du Temps, which is a Louis Vuitton company, but both of them, Ferrier and Fabrique du Temps, are top of the game. You could see a lovely click spring atop a barrel below that enables a 80-hour manual wind power reserve. That click spring is gorgeous, black polished and fully rounded. We have particularly broad and deeply gradiated Cote de Genève or stripes. We have incredible levels of mirrored anglage on the edge of these bridges. This is what manual anglage looks like, rounded and mirrored. You could see that we have a power reserve indicator for the 80 hour manual wind power reserve. We have black polished screws with chamfered slots and chamfered circumference. We have sharp outward angles. You can find them at the edges of bridges where bevels meet. And then we have a sharp inward angle uh, that is the cock for the escape wheel and you can see how the escape wheel is equipped with skeletonized escape wheel teeth it is created using liga which is a galvanic lithography which can create incredibly lightweight and precise components now it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and you can see it has a free sprung balance for precision of adjustment and durability against shock and it is a physically large balance with a lot of inertia it is adjusted in six positions one more than a standard chronometer so dial up dial down crown right crown left 
crown up, crown down. Six positions is the gold standard for chronometry. And then you can see there are two different sizes of engine turned perlage on the base plates. Plus we have satination on the wheels and you can see circular satination on the barrel and the ratchet wheel. And if you look really carefully, I don't know how well I can capture this with my camera phone, but the teeth of the ratchet wheel are actually polished. It is quite impressive. And all of it is water resistant down to 30 meters, so keep it high and dry. It's not a sports watch, but it is a wear it all the time type of everyday driver or all arounder. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.